Kenny Green, raw perspective, concrete and steel, keeping it good and raw. Hey, lately, man, when I talk to people and I move around, the climate, what's happening, a lot of people are in financial despair, financial trouble, foreclosures on mortgages, evictions on the rent. And, you know, people make good money, but they can't keep up. Things that might have been $12, like sometimes I go on Home Depot and something may have been $15. Now, within a four year period, that item has doubled. You know, that's like 100%. So, can you weather the price gouging, the inflation? Because you can't make the same money for years and expect to keep up with the inflation and the way things are. But you have to be invested in things that will go up with time. Most of America's wealth is in real estate business and stocks. So no matter what, you need to try to place yourself, insert yourself in some part of anything that can go up in value as time go. Because you working, your labor will not keep up with the way things are going. These rents are going up in amazing numbers. You know, at one time, say in New York City, you might have could have got some $4,000. Now that's $2,500. And if your salary didn't increase to meet that, you already see you in a deficit. And if your savings are just sitting there because sometimes your money have to go to work so you don't have to work as hard or you don't have to go to work at all. So I think the mindset has to change. Otherwise, you will drown. This is the culture we in. This is the society we live in. And if you don't change and put monies into things that will grow, you will drown. Can you weather this? You know what I'm saying? It's a different time. I know some people that bought houses in the 80s and they may have paid on 70,000, 100,000. These homes now are worth 600,000, 700,000, even 800,000. And that's in maybe 30 year period, right? 30 years seem like a long time. But if you're just paying as you're paying in rent and you build an equity, you have something you can possibly lean on. They say sometimes you could take 10 grand, put it in the stock market, S&P index or something, and then, you know, 10 years, 10 grand could be 60,000. 40,000, whatever it is, it won't be the 10,000 that you started with. And yes, things go up, things go down, but Tom's tests have proven that these are good vehicles to be in that you can have some growth. You understand? You have to do something other than put your money in the bank. Can you weather what's coming ahead? Because things are changing. A lot of storage, there's a lot of storages now. You know why there's a lot of storages? Because people are putting their stuff in storage and moving in with friends and family members. And now you have a storage bill. You either have to find some good people you could unify with and purchase something, a piece of property or something. Make no mistake about it. Start small. Get into the mutual fund game, the index 500 game. Start small. You can do something to offset this because it's not going to be good. You can't keep up. And in a lot of cases, these people don't care about you. If you don't find your way, it won't be no way. Investing is necessary. Like dig this, right? I think I might have been on um, 20 something years old, right? My man introduced me to first investors, right? And that's how I first got um, informed about the stocks and investing or whatever. You know, being 20-something, I'm making fast money. So maybe I didn't take that as serious, right? So I didn't capitalize on it the way I should because later in life, I got back on the bandwagon with it, right? <clears throat> so what I thought about was, okay, whether it's my children, nephews, young people I know, give them the kickstart that they can maybe 
do dollar cost averaging, which is you set one price per month that you invest. Whether the stock is high or low, you're still in the game purchasing. So it doesn't make a difference. And just because your account will fluctuate high, low, you stay in the game because you play it for the long term. So if you have a 20 something year old, usually they're not gonna do it, but it's small enough that you can start it with 50 or $100 a month that when they get better sense, it will be capitalizing and compounding. This whole game is about compounding interest. Understand that. So Janice Henderson is a fund that I dealt with. Uh, Vanguard, VU, it's an index fund, S&P 500. And, you know, think about technology and what we're doing. Think about what you pay attention to and invest in that. A lot of these mutual fund companies, brokerage houses, you don't need a lot of money to start. You can open up an account with $100. So I say that to say, it's no reason not to get in the game and participate to change your tomorrow. Dig that. Doing something today will change your tomorrow. You know what I mean? Let the young people see how small money can grow into something larger. Because telling them, they might not get it. But if they see 50 or $100 over a few year period and what it can change into. And num remember, this will compound, numbers will go up, and it will attract them because young people start paying attention to money when they get a little older. And this is one way that they can actually see that they know when it started, how it started, and they can see what it's growing into, getting the game.